Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is topicity in which we will be discussing homotopic, enantiotopic and diastereotopic atoms or groups. Let's take one by one. Homotopic atoms or groups. Atoms or groups are said to be homotopic if their separate replacement with a different atom or group not already attached to the center gives same molecule. Homotopic atoms or groups cannot be differentiated by NMR. Let's take the example of dimethoxymethane. Here we have to find the relation between two hydrogens A and B. For this just replace A and B one by one with a different atom, say deuterium. Replacement of HA with deuterium will give structure A, while replacement of HB with deuterium will give structure B. We can see that structure A and B are the same. So, H A and B are homotopic atoms. In chloroform, there are three hydrogens A, B and C. Replacement of H A with deuterium gives structure A. Replacement of H B with deuterium gives structure B and Replacement of HC with deuterium gives a structure C. We can see that all the three structures A, B and C are the same. So HA, HB and HC are homotopic atoms. Let's have the example of l tartaric acid. To find out the relation between two hydrogens a and B replace HA and HB one by one with deuterium. Replacement of HA with deuterium will give structure A while replacement of HB with deuterium will give structure B. You can find the relation between structure A and B by determining absolute configuration of each chiral center or by rotating one of the two molecules through 180 degrees in the plane. The absolute configuration of chiral centers in structure A are R and R. The absolute configuration of chiral centers in structure B are R and R2. So A and B are the same. If we rotate a structure B 180 degrees in the plane, we will find that structure A and B are the same. So HA and HB are homotopic. Let's have another example of molecule with two chiral centers. In this, we have to find relation between two hydrogens A and B. For this, do the same exercise means replace HA with deuterium to get structure A and HB to get structure B. Now, you can opt either way to find the relation between structure A and B. The absolute configuration at two chiral centers in A are R and R. The absolute configuration in B are also R and R. So, A and B are the same molecule. If you rotate structure B 
180 degrees about this axis you can also see that a and b are the same so ha and hb are homotopic let's have the example of monocyclic system in this two we have to find the relation between ha and hb replacement of ha with deuterium will give a structure a and that of hb will give a structure b here you can opt either way to find the relation between a structure a and b the absolute configuration in structure A are S and S. So the center bearing deuterium is archiral. Structure B also have configuration S and S suggesting structure A and B to be the same. If you rotate structure B 180 degrees about this axis you can also find that structure a and b are the same so h a and h b are homotopic now we are going to take the example of bicyclic narbonian system we have to find the relation between proton a and b replacement of h a with deuterium will give a structure A and that of HB will give a structure B. If we rotate structure B 180 degrees about this axis, you will find that structure A and B are the same. So HA and HB are homotopic. Now Come to the second point, enantiotopic atoms are groups. Atoms are groups are said to be enantiotopic if their separate replacement with a different atom or group not already attached to the center gives enantiomers. Enantiotopic atoms are groups cannot be differentiated by NMR. Let's take the example of ethanol. We have to find the relation between two hydrogens A and B. For this, you just replace A and B one by one with a different atom, say deuterium. Replacement of HA with deuterium will give structure A while that of HB will give a structure B. We can see that a structure A and B are enantiomers. So HA and HB are enantiotopic atoms. Mesotartaric acid. To find out the relation between HA and HB replace HA and HB separately with deuterium. Replacement of HA with deuterium will give a structure A while that of HB will give a structure B. You can find the relation by determining absolute configuration of each center or by rotating a structure A or B 180 degrees in the plane. For the better understanding, let's first label the deuterium containing chiral center as 2 and hydrogen containing chiral center as 3. In a structure A, the absolute configurations are 2s and 3r. In a structure B, the absolute configurations are 2R and 3S. Since the absolute configurations on each chiral center is opposite, so 
स्ट्रक्चर ए एंड बी आर इन एंसियोमर्स If we rotate structure B 180 degrees in the plane, we will find that structure A and B are in enantiomers. So, H A and H B are in enantiotopic. Let's have the example of 3-chlorocyclopropene, in which we have to determine the relation between proton A and B. Replacement of H A with D gives a structure A while that of H B will give a structure B. You can opt either way for the determination of relation between H A and H B. Structure A has S configuration while structure B has R configuration. So, these are enantiomers. If we put these two structures like this, we can see that these are non-superimposable mirror images and thus enantiomers. So, H A and H B are enantiotopic. Now, we will take the example of Narbornane in which we have to determine the relation between two adjacent exoprotons A and B. Replacement of HA with deuterium gives a structure A while that of HB gives a structure B. We can see that structure A and B are non-superimposable mirror images of each other and thus enantiomers. So, H A and H B are enantiotopic. If we have to determine the relation between these two exoprotons in Narbornin, first label them as A and B, replace H A with deuterium to get structure A and replace HP with deuterium to get structure B. If we put the structure B like this, we can see that these are non-superimposable mirror images of each other and thus enantiomers. So, H A and H B are enantiotopic. Similarly, if we have to determine the relation between these two protons in Narbonin, first label them as A and B, replace H A with deuterium to get a structure A and replace H B with deuterium to get a structure B. If we put the structure B like this, we can see that these are non-superimposable mirror images of each other and thus enantiomers. So, H A and H B are enantiotopic. Now, we are going to take the example of aline. For an aline to be optically active, the two substituents on each terminal carbon should be different. So, the given aline with the two hydrogens on the terminal carbon is optically inactive. Label the two hydrogens as A and B. Replace HA with deuterium to get a structure A and replace HB with deuterium to get a structure B. Structure A and B are enantiomers. So, H A and H B are enantiotopic. Diastereotopic atoms are groups. Two atoms or groups are said to be diastereotopic if they are separate replacement with a different atom or group not already attached to the center gives diastereomers. Diastereotopic atoms or groups 
can be differentiated by NMR because they have different chemical environment. For example, S phenyl alanine, the two benzylic protons A and B are diastereotopic because replacement of HA with deuterium gives a structure A while replacement of HB with deuterium gives a structure B which are diastereomers. In 2-chlorobutene there are two terminal alkenic hydrogens A and B. Replacement of HA with deuterium gives a structure A and replacement of HB with deuterium gives a structure B. Since structure A and B are diastereomers, so HA and HB are diastereotopic. Let's have the example of third butyl cyclohexane. In this, we have to find out the relation between indicated hydrogens A and B. Replacement of HA with deuterium gives a structure A, while replacement of HB with deuterium gives a structure B. Structure A and B are diastereomers, so HA and HB are diastereotopic. Now we are going to take the example of dioxolane derivative. In this, we have to determine relation between indicated hydrogens A and B. Replacement of HA with deuterium gives a structure A and replacement of HB with deuterium gives a structure B. If we look at these two structures, these are not mirror images and hence diastereomers. We can also find the relation between structure A and B by determining absolute configuration. For this, let's first number the ring system as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In a structure A, the configuration at C4 is R and at C5 is S. C2 is a pseudo chiral center having configuration a small r. In structure B, the configuration at C4, C5 and C2 will be r, s and a small s respectively. Since structure A and B have difference only at one chiral center so they are diastereomers thus the relation between HA and HB will be diastereotopic let's have the example of narbornane in this we have to find the relation between indicated hydrogens A and B Replacement of HA with deuterium gives a structure A while replacement of HB with deuterium gives a structure B. A structure A and B are diastereomers. So HA and HB are diastereotopic. 